it's Jan from Jan Does Reviews. And look what just came in the mail. So today, I'm going to unbox the box by Fashion Star. This is the August 2021 box. It is $23, no, $24.99 a month. Sales tax and shipping is included. And you get five to sometimes seven full-size products, um, usually half skincare and half makeup. Occasionally hair care, very occasionally. I think I've only gotten one hair care item. And that was some kind of protective oil spray thing. Okay, so here's what it looks like. You get a little card here with information about all the products inside. This month's theme, obviously express yourself. And it looks like this month we have seven items. And they come here on, to a total of $148. So, that being said, let's open her up. And that's what it looks like on the inside. I appreciate that they use recyclable packing peanuts, but oh my God, these little black crinkle papers get everywhere. They fall out just and collect and scatter with walking around on the floor because you didn't notice it. And then, you know, two weeks later, you, you find one. Yeah. Okay. So, with most of the packing removed, there's the items. And, um, it's an odd mixture this month. Ah, uh, okay. So, first up, we have the Beauty Crop Espresso Yourself Eyeshadow Palette. The Beauty Crop is an Australian brand. Um, I've gotten a couple of things from them. I have an eyeshadow primer and I did have like a cheek and lip balm kind of duo thing, but I didn't like the color much. It was um, almost a coral, you know, more orangey, slightly pink shade. It just, it wasn't flattering to me. So decluttered quite a while back. The description on the back of the eyeshadow palette box says, inspired by our favorite hug in a mug, we created a delicious collection of wearable eyeshadows formulated with coffee extract. Rich in caffeine and antioxidants, coffee, coffee extract reduces puffiness and dark circles around the eye while antioxidants brighten and tightens the skin. The coffee-inspired collection of 21 highly pigmented shades are universally flattering and come in both matte and shimmer finishes to create an array of looks from daytime, excuse me, daytime chic to sultry and smoky. Yeah. Hmm. We shall see. It is safety sealed. So, let's open her up. This is valued, I'm sorry, did I say that it's valued at $21? Um, bubble wrap. And then here is the palette packaging. And then oh this is interesting usually you know I have little protectors here on the mirror and um, a little different it's sealed to the packaging at either end not opposed it keeps the palettes contain or the shadows contained they are very small um pans but that doesn't bother me one bit because honestly the last time i finished even a single pan of eyeshadow was in a little quad that i had and i've got three of the shades panned out of the four yeah 
I've got so much eyeshadow that's that's really a non-issue. Very pretty. We'll be giving that a go today. Um, next is M Greengrass Skin Care Hand and Body Butter. The fragrance is Manhattan Beach, but it's inspired by the beach air. Notes of bergamot, citrus, white, jasmine, Brazilian softwoods, heliotrope, and musk. I happen to love the green grass formula, so looking forward to this. Their um, summer and nice is my favorite. This is nice. It does smell beachy. Um, it's it yeah, it's fresh without being overpowering. Uh, let's see what the card says. This is valued at $24. I don't know if I said that. And the card says, a luxurious, ultra hydrating and nourishing hand and body butter designed to absorb quickly while leaving the skin quenched, restored and protected. A variety item. So you could have gotten different scents. Uh, vegan and cruelty free. So I have, I bought this myself. Um, this is their sweet clementine body butter. Well, hand and body butter. And it's in the jar form. Oh my gosh. And they seal really well. They've got little um, rubber gaskets on the inside. And this smells like a fresh glass of orange juice. It's lovely. These are some of my favorites. Um, but like I said, my, my favorite is in my bedroom and it's um, Summer and Nice. And it's inspired, sorry, I keep hitting my desk. It's inspired by um, the flower fields in Provence, France. So anyway, moving on. Um, next, we have Elm Vegan Beauty. This is the Farmer's Touch. Hudson Valley Sunblock Balm, $12. Completely organic formula made in the USA and cruelty free. And it's just, um, you know, it does have a fragrance, but it's not terrible. It's very, very faint, but that's what it is. And this is valued at $12 and I'll be putting this on my face, which is why um, yeah, you can see all the, the dark circles, the discoloration on my cheeks, around my nose and mouth. Yeah, we'll be trying that. Now, the last four items, there are two by Mirabella Cosmetics and two by Bella Pierre Cosmetics. So, um, let's do the Bella Pierre. Normally, you get full-size products, but I'm not sure that these are actually full-size. They may be. I don't know. I mean, that's more than enough face sunblock to last an entire season, so I'm not going to complain at all. Um, this is the Bella Pierre HD Setting Spray, High Definition Makeup Setting Spray for Lasting Matte Finish. I have dry skin, so I don't know that this is going to be a go for me, but this is valued at um, 19, no, yes, $19 for 1.05 fluid ounces, really? Okay. Um, goes on without leaving your skin feeling sticky or greasy, locking your makeup in place for hours. Summer sweat proof and less transferable. Yeah. And less transferable for fall, flawless looks, paraben and cruelty free. Um, then also from Bella Pierre, we have the Twist Up Brow Pencil in Deep Brown. And let's see what we've got here. We will we'll be trying most of this stuff today. Um, I haven't seen anything yet that I want. Well, the setting spray maybe. I'll give it a go and leave it down in the comments below at the end of the day if it, you know it was really drying or uncomfortable or anything like that. Got a spoolie on one end. And like it said, and this is a very small, 
and something to my hand. Hmm. Uh, very small tip, so this should work. Um, my brows aren't the fullest, as you can see. This is me. All I've done is moisturize. So, yeah. We should give that a go. Now, the last two project, uh, products, like I said, are from Mirabella. And I've heard of Mirabella, but I've never tried anything from the brand, so... Um, it's not sold anywhere near me that I've noticed at any rate. Okay, um, this is the Iconic Winged Liner and Stamp Kit. This is valued at $20. It says create the perfect, sorry, my eyes won't focus. Um, create the perfect symmetrical cat eye every single time with this liner and stamp duo. Quick dry waterproof formula. Paraben, gluten, and cruelty free. I thought gluten allergies were only if you ate glutens. Am I wrong? I don't know. I guess you can have a skin sensitivity to glutens. It's just kind of strange. Okay. Oh, wow. And then it's safety sealed on the inside. Let's see if I can get this plastic wrapper off so we can take a look at the stamp and see exactly what we're up against here. Inner stamp. Wing platter and stamp. Okay, there's no shaker to it. As you can see, there we go. I presume it is in black. It is a felt tip. And then Oh, okay, so that's already inked, so you can, okay, I get it now. I was like, how do you, yeah, do up the, the stamp without uh, detach, yeah. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, we have the Sculpt Mineral Highlight Contour Powder. Okay. This is valued, um, did I tell you how much this liner is? It's $20 for this liner pen. This is 32. And the description in the box says, Mirabella Beauty Sculpt Contour and Bronze Duo. But this says Highlight and Contour Powder. I'm not sure. Uh, the description says, Easily blendable, mineral-based pressed powders to create dimensional dimensionality on the face can be worn alone or layered to create a variety of looks. Paraben, paraben gluten, and cruelty-free. Mine are in the shades Love Struck and Destiny. Here's what the compact looks like. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's the back. Mm. Yeah, definitely not a um, contour and bronzer. I would say this is a bronzer and a highlight because that is far too warm toned to be a contour for me, I think. But we shall give her a go. Okay, so. Um, first things first. I'm gonna try a little bit of the sunscreen on my face. 
while that's soaking in, we'll try a little bit of this lotion, see how I like it, because I've tried their jarred body butters, but I've never tried one in a pump, so I'm presuming it's gonna be a thinner formulation, and I'm kinda of picky when it comes to lotions, so texture problems. All right, let's just apply this. Oh, wow. That is very, very oily. I was not expecting that. Um, that forehead swipe is easily going to coat my entire face. And neck. And wow, just, you know, wow. Sorry about the noise. Um, let's wipe that off. Okay, one thing to note on the sunscreen. A little bit goes a very, very long way. So, go easy with that this time. Um, and while that is soaking in, because you do want to give your sunscreen usually at least 15 minutes, if not more, to soak in before you try to apply primer over the top or makeup in general. So. And I'm just gonna wrap that all over my arms. Soaks in very nicely. The thing will be um, whether or not it leaves a weird residue behind or if it sinks in completely. Um, I tend to prefer an oil-based moisturizing product for that reason alone because a lot of the water-based ones leave a weird residue behind and that's what the texture issues that I complain about come from most of the time. Yeah, I really like that. So far, so good. So I think I'm going to try and, there we go. It does have a lock on the pump. You just turn it and it locks in place. Turn it the other way. And it pumps. I'm still priming the pump. There we go. And that's just one pump. So you get a, a, a good amount with each pump, which is nice. You definitely can smell the jasmine. I'm not sure what the other scent is. might be the citrus the bergamot not so much but that's okay I've got a bergamot infused lotion that I adore from Bath and Body Works so that's fine all right I'm gonna hop off camera and um, round up everything else I need you know concealer brushes all that garbage and I will get back on and talk about what my game plan is for trying these products out and then we'll bust through all that real quick and then we'll we'll wrap things up so okay I'm back um, the sunscreen is going to take a really really long time to soak in so um, I have worked it into my skin as much as I can and I'm just using it as a primer I have concealed my under eyes and powdered um, and wiped off um, the very oily residue from the sunscreen off of my eyebrows because nothing will stick if you don't. Uh, I'm going to do what I typically would do with my brows, which is powder first, then hair-like strokes with the pencil. Um, maybe some brow mascara. Big maybe not sure about that yet 
Then um, I'm going to, I went ahead and pulled it out of uh, my stash, the Stuck On You by the Beauty Crop Eye Primer. Um, when I get done with my brows, I'm going to put this on, give it a minute to set while I add on um, some blush and some bronzer and highlight. Then I'm going to go back in with the Beauty Crops palette here. And as you can see, one side is um, decidedly warm and one side is decidedly cool. And then something, you know, right here in the middle that kind of merges the two. It's more neutral, I guess you would say. So um, the plan is to go more cool toned, but if I feel like the look's looking flat, I might spice it up a little bit with um, one of these bottom colors down here in the crease. Um, I'm going to go in with this, deepen it up some with this. Then I'm going to, um, the outer corner will be here. And I haven't made up my mind whether I'm gonna go with this gray on the lids or this gold. I might even go with that kind of pinkish champagne kind of color. Don't know. And then I will use this to buff out the edges and do an inner corner highlight. Um, still not sure if I'm going to use the wing side of the stamp or not, but I will definitely use the liquid liner. I will. Um, I do have on a tubing mascara so far on my lashes, and that's it. Um, so I will add a um, couple of coats of mascara and haven't made up my mind whether I'm going to use this spray or not. We'll see. Um, but you'll know things are wrapping up when you see me put on my lifter gloss. This is in the shade Silk. It's a really, the lifter glosses are mostly very sheer, but this one is kind of opaque, so I do like it. And it's, you know, kind of a pinky brown, a nude. Pinky brown nudes are my, my jam. Sorry. But it seems like it would go really, really well with that um, coffee-themed palette. So, that's the plan. Um, yeah. I'm going to speed things up right now.
so this is the finished look and I did try all the products today I'm not unhappy with it um, this box was a surprising mix of makeup and uh, skincare and I actually enjoyed it because there weren't any face serums and moisturizers or body oils it was you know it, it was a actual beautiful hand and body lotion that will get much love and the scent is lovely I mean there's nothing wrong with that at all it's um, it's not overpowering you just get I can still smell just a bit of it and the other products that I've tried from them are the same way they have a dry oil spray and um, like I showed you the jar of the um, hand and body butter and this feels just as creamy it doesn't leave a weird textural issue for me so that's always a good thing um, sunscreen I would not use this under makeup if you're just going out and no makeup doesn't matter it's very oily it's very nice I like it uh, I just don't think it's a great pairing for underneath makeup so but it's it is very very nice I do like it the sprayer on this totally sucks <laughs> just gonna say it it's crap uh, I don't know about the setting spray but uh, you all saw I missed it and I just got drenched right here so I had to go in with the sponge to absorb all that excess so I wouldn't have these huge runs and droplets in the um, bronzer and highlighter which I will go into um, I had to switch up the blush shade because it was too pale um, it just got lost in translation when I used the bronzer and highlighter um, this is not an overly warm but it is definitely I would say too warm to be used as a contour for me uh, the highlighter I really wasn't expecting it to be this shiny but it's pretty it's very iridescent and I like that I mean it catches the light beautifully as you can see um, the bronzer is a good match for me you know it's not too deep but it does show up as you saw you can get heavy-handed with it but I think a lot of that is where the powder is sticking to the oily sunscreen and um, let me see if I can figure out I, I know it said a list of ingredients on here when I was looking at it earlier coconut oil there you go um, peach oil zinc oxide and arrowroot and calendula wax which I didn't know that was a thing yeah calendula so um, I would say the uh, calendula coconut and peach oils are all what is giving it its scent like I said it's light it's nice you, it doesn't stick with you like the butter does um, but this is extremely oily in nature and coconut oil is a comedogenic so if you are prone to breakouts I would say go very easy with this or skip it completely um, I don't know about peach oil whether it causes breakouts or not anyway um, this was great really liked it the brow pencil is good uh, it's not too dark it does very nice you know mimics brow hairs it's a traditional spoolie I like it it's it's good I did have to warm it up just a little bit on the back of my hand um, because some have kind of a, a coating where they've sat for a little bit I'm not saying you know some are, are super creamy this is not the case and it's not super waxy either you just have to warm it up just a little bit on your skin and then it just glides right on and it looks good so happy with that um i should have palette i really like it uh it has decent pigmentation it builds up quite easily and i have to say that shimmer shade that i used the um pinky champagne one here 
it feels like butter. It just, it feels so good on the fingertips. I really liked it. Um, I did put just a little bit of gray underneath just to help define my lower lash line without going crazy with the mascara. <clears throat> I have no complaints. The mattes are decently pigmented. Like I said, they build up quickly. They don't go on super heavy at first, which I prefer. I prefer something that can be built up. Um, so yeah, great palette. I'm really happy with it. And then the liner, uh, I was afraid of the cat eye but I ended up doing a little baby wing anyway, so maybe I should have attempted it, but I just wasn't feeling it today, so, um, I like it. I wish it was more the, I wish the tip was a little more flexible because it did skip on the eyeshadow. Um, I did have to go over it a couple of times to completely cover the shimmer now, where the matte was on the outer, no problems at all. It was just getting over the shimmer to get it to its full opaqueness. Yeah. It looked more gray on the shimmer with a little sparkle still bleeding through. So, I had to go over that area again. Um, and like I said, it skipped a little bit when it hit the texture on my eyes because it wasn't flexible enough to just go with the bends. So, I'm not sure that it's going to replace my favorite black liner but it's it's good and if i can get the hang of the wing stamp i could see where that would be really useful so all in all pretty dang good so um as i said i like everything except for the setting spray and it may even be okay i might be able to put it in a different bottle with a better sprayer and use it but I don't use setting spray a lot to begin with so not really sure about this one so this is the only definite not for me and it's because it's matte has a crappy sprayer and I'm just not into setting sprays everything else is an absolute win I could see myself definitely using these almost on the daily maybe not the black liner I don't always wear eyeliner. Sometimes I just, you know, take a dark eyeshadow with a really thin little, um, let me see if I can find the brush. Um, something like this, you know, where it's very thin, but has a straight edge, not the curved, although you can work with that. Um, and just use that to darken up my lash line, which is mainly what I use eyeliner for. Um, today, I, I, like I said, I did put on a little baby wing. So, um, but yeah, the eyebrow pencil is great. The bronzer and highlighter is good. Although I don't wear highlighter often, but it is really pretty and it doesn't seem to be emphasizing my texture a lot. My skin is matte where there's not highlighter. So the spray did mattify because I was very, very glowy from um, the sunscreen. I can see this being a total win, especially if I'm going to be out in the sun all day. We have a uh, homesteaders picnic coming up soon that we go to every year, and um, I'll probably be using this. Definitely, definitely be using this probably every day unless I'm just in a mood for a different scent, which, you know. I've got two others to pick from, so it might happen. But it's it's good. Um, I don't have any texture issues with it. So, the money side of things. Um, I liked everything but the setting spray. So, that was $19. So, if you subtract that out of $148, you get um, $129 for a $25 box. So, you know, that's quadruple, almost pentuple the um, value of this box. I mean, it's great. It's, I guess quintuple. So, um, yeah, it's great return for the money on this one. This is a home run the whole way. So far, it is my favorite box. However, uh, I should be getting BoxyCharm's base box and premium box next week. So, don't know. Maybe they'll be even better than this one. But it's going to be pretty damn hard because this was pretty gossam. I mean, 
it's shades I like because as I've told you guys I'm a neutral ass bitch and I'm happy to be that way um, these are right up my alley things that I would like and enjoy uh, I have absolutely no complaints this month so I hope you all are having a great day stay happy stay healthy and make good choices see you in my next video bye